So guys, if you can, please subscribe to the channel and please smash the like button on this video. So this next story, a gang who carried out at least 19 cash machine raids across England and Wales have been jailed for a combined total of 21 years. The men appeared at Liverpool Crown Court and they admitted conspiracy to commit burglary at an early hearing. It's believed that during a five-month crime spree between spring and summer 2022, they got away with more than half a million pounds in cash and caused around one million pounds in damage. The men involved were Lee Leatherbarrows, 33 off St. Helens, Crimea Price, who's 32 off Newton Lee Willows, Arthur Gaskin, who's 35, and John Price, who's 28 of Burstall. It's believed they struck between March and July in 2022, and their targets included convenience stores across the UK. It's believed that they kept one of the three high powered getaway cars in a lock up garage in Wigan. The court heard how between 11th of March 2022 and the 7th of July 2022, there were 19 incidents where supermarkets containing standalone ATMs had been targeted sometime overnight. As I said, it's estimated more than £580,000 in cash was stolen from machines during the attacks. Cheshire Constabulary Serious and Organised Crime Unit launched an investigation in April 2022 following an ATM attack on a store in Warrington during which two attending female police officers were rammed by the group as they fled the scene. During their inquiries into the gang, which was named Operation Hades, officers identified links to offences spanning the width of the north of England down to the Midlands and crossing into Wales. On each occasion, the gang would conduct a reconnaissance of the ATM machines, with one of the group using one of the machines in the weeks prior to the offence and once an exact location and day was identified, this would kickstart what they would do. They'd go down, they'd use mobile phones to communicate and coordinate meeting place before they left these devices at home or at an agreed meeting point. This meant that officers couldn't track their location through mobile devices. They would then use stolen vehicles, it's believed that a couple of BMs and a Golf R to go to their rendezvous points where one of the vehicles was found to be stored in a garage in Wigan, which the group thought was a safe location. In another bid to try and cover their tracks, they also used multiple clone number plates relating to similar car makes and models. They then steal a Ford Transit van and follow in convoy with one of the other vehicles to travel direct to the store that was to be targeted. When at the locations, the gang would use power tools such as an angle grinder to gain entry to the stores. Members would then target the ATMs by dragging the machines out which caused huge damage before loading up the stolen vehicles with the cassettes containing the cash. However, the downfalls when officers from Cheshire Constabulary entered a pursuit with a getaway BMW, they were driving 90 miles per hour in a 30 mile per hour zone after they burgled a co-op store in Leicestershire. Members of the gang attempted to injure officers and stop the pursuit by throwing items such as fire extinguishers and bricks out of the vehicle. Once reaching an area of safety, Officers performed a tactical stop on the vehicle, resulting in the arrest of both Prices and Gaskin. Inside the BMW, seven sets of number plates, four bottles of disinfectant, numerous bricks used to attack police and stolen items from the shop were discovered alongside a sledgehammer and circular saw. Further inquiries led to a warrant being executed in St. Helens with Leather Barrow arrested. Detective Inspector Nick Henderson from the Cheshire Constabulary Serious and Organised Crime Unit said, this case shows that no matter how hard you think you have worked to cover your tracks, our cops will be one step ahead of you. The gang left a trail of destruction for their own selfish gain. They may have stolen in excess of £500,000 in cash, but this does not account for the damage caused to the shops, ATM machines, and around 20 vehicles were stolen in order to commit the offences. In total, this investigation identified a loss of more than £1 million. This was by no means a victimless crime. This gang ruined businesses and caused huge disruption to local communities and residents. But thanks to our investigation, we were able to put together an extensive catalogue of evidence which left the organised crime group no choice but to plead guilty to their offences, put to them, even if it took some time for them to agree. They will all be now behind bars for a total of 21 years and I hope this acts as a lesson to those who think they can come to Cheshire to commit crime. He said, we will find you and we'll bring you to justice. So, Crimea Price, he was jailed for eight years. Arthur Gaskin, 
seven years and six months. Lee Leather Barrel, seven years and six months. And John Price for six years. So out of the 19 stores that were targeted, 16 seemed to be either co-ops or McCall stores, whilst there was one Morrison's and a couple of Nissa stores targeted as well. Seven out of the 19 ATMs that they took, they were unable to take the cash out of them. And just to give you an example, rather going through all through them, the top three, which were, there was a co-op in Stoke, they took £110,000. There was a co-op again in Stoke, they took £117,000. There was a McCall's in Stoke, which was £98,200. So guys, that's a new story coming in. So guys, here's one for you. A lamb has been found in a car, along with an estimated £10,000 of Class A drugs on a motorway in Scotland. Police Scotland officers stopped the vehicle on the northbound carriageway near Junction 3 in Glasgow on Saturday night. Officers found heroin with an estimated value of £7,000 of cocaine worth around £3,000. The force said the police dog Billy was instrumental in finding the drugs in the car. Said the lamb. <laughs> they said the lamb has been taken in by a local farmer and inquiries are continuing to establish how it ended up in the car. Police spokesperson said officers in Glasgow have seized drugs with a potential value of £10,000 from a vehicle on the M74 motorway. Three occupants of the vehicle was arrested and a search of the car was carried out with an assistance from the dog unit. The dog Billy entered the car and indicated drugs of presence. Two men aged 52 and 53 and one woman aged 38 were arrested and charged with drugs offences. Absolute madness, guys, now. <laughs> I was looking at this picture and I'm thinking, right in that bottom corner you can see a bag of chips there and I'm thinking somebody must have told these guys <laughs> on a Saturday night, go take away, what do you want? Want some lemon chips? <laughs> and another bad thing is that the lamb's face looks disgusting. Like those chips must have tasted shit too. But anyway, guys, and in another story coming from Durham Ways, a father and a son have been sentenced after police recovered a dozen illegal firearms from a home which police suspect was being used as an armory for criminals. Handguns, shotguns, and ammunition were found after being hidden around the house and under a bed in the property in County Durham. Durham police carried out a search of the home in November and police said shotguns were believed to have been stolen from a farm in the Northumbria police area and said evidence suggested the house was being used as an armoury for criminals. Paul Anthony Glynn and his son Joseph Glynn were arrested at the scene on suspicion of possessing the firearm with Paul being further arrested on suspicion of being in possession of the weapons whilst being prohibited. In a four-day intensive investigation, which was called Operation Mermaid, by firearm experts from the forces, resulted in 42 charges being secured for the suspects, including 19 for Paul. In March, Paul pleaded guilty to all 19 counts, and his son guilty to three counts relating to the stolen shotguns. And now the pair have been sentenced. Paul was handed a 19-year prison sentence, while his son, received an 18 month sentence suspended for two years and 100 hours of community service. Detective Sergeant Vicky McCauley of Durham Police said a large number of detectives and civilians worked on Operation Mermaid with Superintendent Extension and a magistrate's warrants of further detention achieved. The officer in charge, myself and the file builder continued to charge to work with the CPS and the barrister preparing for trial along with firearms experts who were able to formulate and complete a detailed forensic strategy that resulted in DNA of all the defendants being found on some of the weapons recovered. A great result and a lot of hard work to see these weapons removed from circulation and those responsible being brought to justice. It's your boy GT. Keep it locked, keep it real.